Sixth of the table. <laughs> How much satisfaction do you take? Yeah, uh, of course, it's uh, it's a fabulous start from a newly promoted side. We're a little bit greedy, actually, because I felt could have done a little bit better. But that's uh, that's me. Uh, but uh, I think when you take a step back, it's obviously a, a, a great start in terms of performances and results. What's been the real key to that consistency when you look at one defeat in 12, unbeaten in four with three wins on the bounce prior to yesterday? Yeah, just that, what we just said, consistency in performance. We've just given ourselves every opportunity of getting a result in, in virtually every game. Um, and uh, we've had obviously played everybody apart from Manchester City, so... Obviously, two big tests coming up in the, in, the, in the next month against them, but played everybody. So, um, we've gone toe to toe with everybody as well. So, I'm delighted about that. But consistency uh, in, uh, in, in play, approach, attitude. And um, I don't think I'm tossing a coin up and wondering well, what sort of performance I'm going to get out of my team, which is, I think if you ask every manager or every coach, you know, what they're always looking for is, is, is possibly that that you know at times like yesterday when we're not at our best we still give ourselves a chance of getting a result and when we're at our best obviously the, the, the greater the odds are of, uh, of, of winning a game of football and I've, I've been delighted with that I was going to say what does that say about your side at the moment the fact that when you're not at the best it still took two cracking saves from Ben Foster to ensure you didn't take all three points yeah we've set high standards in training we've set high standards in games um, we, we take every game in isolation so you know, I never really looked afterwards about points, totals, and um, uh, and, uh, and and league position. I, I just looked at that game in isolation, and uh, and you know, the, the standards that we've set have been fabulous and, and high. And uh, we just we were just off the pace a little bit yesterday, but I think just we've got as we've talked about. You know, defensively we've got a structure and organisation, and, um, and 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 going forward we've got an identity. So everybody plays the part everybody's got a job to do with and without the ball and I think you know as I said that gives us the, a, a, a better opportunity of, of getting result you know I've, yeah of course I've been in the game a long time and I've I've managed you know at various levels and I think obviously one of the most frustrating things is that when you go out you haven't got a clue what your team's going to produce um, and uh, it's 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 a situation that uh, you, you don't really enjoy um, and always you try to get to that situation not we have now um, and listen, if a team's better than us um, and, and have, have got more than us on the day um, and, uh, and we don't do enough, then we understand that and accept that because that happens right the way through. Uh, but can we show that consistency and give ourselves an opportunity to get a result? And we've certainly done that. Without meaning to labour it, did it come down to freshness yesterday, six of the starting 11, have begun every game so far? And is that the test for you as a manager now to get freshness back within that squad because of the workload? Ah, you could look at it that way, but you know, I think sometimes you look at continuity as well. But, you know, managers will look at, at, at that as well. You know, that, you know, players knowing the jobs and maybe that's been an advantage for us as well and why we've gained that, that, that amount of points. You know, we haven't had the, the injuries uh, that possibly the likes of a, of a Norwich have had. Uh, and so we've had a settled side um, but I, I just I think just one of those days yesterday where we just didn't find especially second half we, I thought we just had another gear in us and we just couldn't reach that that level which I think that happens to to everybody you know it happens to everyone it happens to the best of sides um, so we're no, we're no different um, but I've got to say it was a tight game um, you know I thought that the result was a, was a, was a fair one um, looking back at the, the game um, always thought that there'd be a, a, a lift and a bounce with Nigel going in there with, with, with his qualities that he's undoubtedly got in terms of man management and organisation and coaching and and we've you know we were we've suffered to to lot, what other teams have suffered as well you know Palace didn't get a result at Watford uh, Man you got beat Liverpool oh, you know I watched that game back and. Possibly, if they'd have been a little bit more clinical, Watford, they would have uh, they would have surprised a few people in that in that game as well and got a, got a positive result, and they got a positive result yesterday. So uh, they're going to cause problems for better teams than us. So you know, we'll take a take a result and, and move on. And obviously, we have to quickly move on in this period. As we pre approach the new year, obviously, I've, I've got to ask you, particularly given the league position that you are in as well, do your targets between now and the end of the season do they alter somewhat from what they were at the beginning? I think we're just looking at, and honestly looking at the ne in the next game. And I've, I've I've said it last year, I've said it the year before. The assessment comes at the end of the season, 
um, individually on players and, and how we've done as a, as a, as a group. Um, we're a newly promoted side and we've got to you know, keep reminding ourselves of that. And I know people will, will, uh, will be looking up and talking about different different targets, but you see the fixture list coming up again. It's you know it's it's such a tough one in the Premier League, but but more so for us in this period in the next sort of four to six weeks. Got Man City twice, Liverpool, got Arsenal away. You know, got West Ham at home. They they come thick and fast, and the challenges that are ahead of us, and ones that we need to meet fa- face on and, and 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 head on and and bring our best game to the table. But um, I'm confident we can keep picking results up in the second part of the season. I I, I don't see us. Lacking a desire, that won't happen. Um, from an energy point of view, um, even though the the Premier League is so intense, you know, Saturday to Saturday does give us an opportunity to 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 rest and recover, and prepare, which the Championship doesn't. And historically, as as we have been in the second part of the season, you know, we've been pretty strong, and um, and we're looking to to be just as strong in uh, in in the Premier League in in, in two thousand and twenty. So get through those four weeks, and maybe then I can come back and mention Europe or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. We're still uh, we're head down. We understand how tough the division is. Um, we're not getting away from it. I'm, I think you know one defeat in twelve is 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 uh, is, is a terrific return for for some consistent performances. And the boys have got a lot a lot still to offer. They've still got an enormous amount of desire, and they've still got a lot to prove. And um, and and we have as a, as a as a football club first year back. And uh, and we want to kick on, and um, and that's to be the challenge coming into the new year. Do you need to do anything in the transfer window to build on what you've? Started? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I've talked to the board about that. You know, we do. We do need to strengthen. We've always tried to in every window. Notoriously, January everybody talks about how difficult it is. Um, you know, we we we're, we're uh, we've not got the uh, the world to spend on on players, but whatever the board give me, I'll as I've always done, I'll try to maximise that. Uh, they'll generate whatever they can to help me, and I appreciate that. And I'll I'll try and get the maximum out of that to to improve us and strengthen us in January to uh, you know to to uh, to bolster the squad uh, for competition for places, and to generally just make the football club as as good as it can be in that window. You've got a number in mind of how many you want to bring in? Yeah, there's a couple of, couple of three that we that we need to in certain uh, certain positions. There'll be there'll be two or three going out that possibly need football and need to. Need to look to 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 play the tra- trade elsewhere, which they understand part and parcel of football. But I think that has to be the you know whatever whatever football club you are, you have to keep moving forward. Um, and, uh, and we're certainly no different to any other one. When you look at this City side that you face, fourteen points behind Liverpool at the moment, do you see much difference to them this season compared to the one that racked up ninety eight points last season? I've got to say, Vinny, we had we had all on concentrating on ourselves and and uh, trying to get out of the Championship last year. We had a terrific battle between us Leeds United and, and, and Norwich and, and some really powerful historic football clubs underneath us that we managed to, to finish ahead off so uh, obviously you do look a little bit you know at, at, the, at the Premier League and just what the manager's done and and and, uh, and the players have done you know uh, well for quite a long time now but especially over the last three or four years since, since Pep Guardiola's been there but just a transformation and I always say this: that it's just transformation in that football club, possibly over the last twelve to fifteen years, um, and even longer. You know, going back in the day, you know, back at Main Road and the old the old football club, and and now to where it is, it's just it's just on a different planet. I think you're talking about you know over a billion pounds spent at a football club, which is which is just an astronomical amount, uh, but it has been invested in and. Obviously, with that money, you have to get the maximum out of it, which certainly Manchester City have done it, and uh, and, and and being one of the most powerful football clubs in the world, and we're um, and uh, and we're up against them, so that's great for us, um, and we have to try and um, do our best to see if we can squeeze a result uh, out of playing uh, a, a powerful powerful football club. Finally, for me, then, do you feel that you're facing a side where the title has gone for them this season? No, not at all. Not at all. I think you know, uh, you, the, 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 these sort of football clubs, Manchester City, can win the rest the rest of their games to the rest of the season. Um, you know, it's uh, but saying that, so can the team that's at the top of the division as well. So, uh, but 
you know, if we if we had the attitude from a from a personal point of view that we're going going to the Etihad, and uh, and and I understand it, odds and um, and everything that I've talked about, players, manager, you know, uh, quality of quality of uh, uh, of uh, of the staff and uh, and, and everything. Or chucked in. There's not many people that would think we could we could get a result apart from possibly outside our changing room. But um, we have to believe that we can try and get get something from the game, uh, and we'll be doing our best to try and do that. But we we really understand what we're up against, uh, you know, and especially in the next two games. Thanks, Cheers, Benet. How much heart do you take from the performance against the other top six clubs that this group don't? get overawed by going to Chelsea and hosting Liverpool here and, and, and Man United? Well, there has to be that, you know, there has to be that that approach, a total respect, you know, but not overdoing it, not doing anything more on Manchester City than we did on, did on Watford. You know, you can't, you know, you can't chuck too much at the players because possibly they won't get on the bus. <laughs> um, but... Uh, but we will do. We will get on the bus yeah. and we'll take a team over and we've got nothing to lose. But I don't see it as a free hit, though, uh, because no game's a no game's free hit. You know, we're in this position by merit. Manchester City are, uh, 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 are in their position as, as one of the, the leading lights of European football and world football by merit. And this is the beauty of the game, uh, that, uh, that it does pitch uh, a team that's been promoted out of the Championship up against the likes of Manchester City, but uh, we'll try as we did against Liverpool. We have to we have to have a lot of things go in our favour. The players have really got to play uh, at the top of the game. Got to have a bounce of a ball, a little bit of luck, and maybe as we always say, the old cliches that all come out. Manchester City not have a not have a great day for us to get a result, but it won't be the the the, uh, the biggest. Re- I keep saying it won't be the biggest result in 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 the history of football if we 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 go over there and manage to. Managed to get a result of some sort, but and that's what we're trying to do. But we we understand we're, we're massively up against it. You were talking uh, a moment ago about Man City's rise in the last decade or so. The corresponding fixture here three years ago was Northampton at home. As great a club as Northampton are, and it's a decent little club. That. It's all right, yeah. It's, it's quite, and it's not a little club. It's a good, it's a good club. But they're not Man City, so Correct. it's quite evident. It's quite extreme evidence, I suppose, of how far this club has come. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Kelvin Thomas and, and, and David Bauer, the uh, the owners at, at Northampton, have stuck a uh, <laughs> have stuck a, a, a billion pound into 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 Northampton. But yeah, I mean, people will always talk about you know journeys and and how far how far we've come and points totals and positions in in league in league, um, which they would have done after after last night after the halfway point because obviously it's 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 a good. Time to time to reflect for everybody, but not for us. You know, as I said it's it's isolation. It's onto the onto the next game. Um, but for me, yet again, as we talked about, you know, the Manchester Uniteds and the Liverpools, and no being disrespectful to to the to the sort of the other sort of 13, 14, 15 club, clubs in the division. But when you do come up against you know the top top six, and and as we are the top two for the last two or three years, you know these are extra special games to be involved in whether at our place uh, which was a fabulous fabulous game uh, uh, against Liverpool or or we're going to the Etihad or, or, or we're going to Anfield in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the next week so it's a it's brilliant reward for, for, for our supporters but they're expecting uh, a decent performance and, and certainly I am To go there though again as evidence of that progress as a top six team I mean, the table might change, of course, the next couple of days, but essentially a top six team to go to the reigning league champions for the time being, at least. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, is, it, is, it is huge progress and uh, the speed of it is, is, has been outstanding and, and everybody's played a part. But, yeah, again, we're talking uh, about looking forward and, and, and not looking back, you know, um, uh, and, and maybe reflecting at, at, at the end of the season where, where we do finish, but... You know we've 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 enjoyed this this season. I don't think we, it's a it's a fluke the position that we're in and the points totals we've got. Um, you look at some tight games in there, and you look at some games where we've deserved to win. And maybe you look at some of the draws that we've had, especially recently. What you know, uh, one defeat in twelve, and, and a few of them that you know could we have turned them into wins? And and that's that has has, has always been our sort of outlook and, and, and mindset. 
respecting what the opposition has got in the changing room, down the corridor, or you know, or wherever we're playing. But we're going to have a go, and we're going to test you, um, and uh, and we're going to try and uh, push you back, um, and um, and and accept that you're going to try and push us back. Always, there's different games. You know, there's 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 the game against Watford, and then there's the game against Manchester City. So you have to accept that. And I'm not being disrespectful to Watford, but you have to accept that. You know that uh, that this is obviously, uh, you know, the odds of us getting a result against Oxford to the odds of us getting a result against Man- Manchester City uh, dramatically change. Uh, but there's still an opportunity, and that's what we're lo- w- what we're looking for, um, and um, and hopefully trying to take. They might though play a little bit more open as opposed to to Watford, might they? So that in itself might mean a more open game if Sheffield United return to their form, if you like. I think they play open to a lot of teams and and, and smash a lot of teams. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean the, the the way they play, which you have that ability to play when you when you when you sign absolutely world class superstars, and you invest in your team as as what Manchester City have done. You get the best of the best, um, and um, but then you have to organise them and, and put them into a structure and, and motivate them, which obviously the manager does uh, an, at an unbelievable level, but. Uh, yeah, I mean that they're expected to win. We're going to have to defend really well. You know, we're going to have to make sure that tactically we we we, we get our our, our organisation and, and our shape right. And the few opportunities or or any opportunities that we have, we have, we have to take. And um, I think that's just accepted when you when you're different in in a newly promoted side where where we've been and a, and a team where Manchester City have been and where and where they are, you just accept you just accept that um, and. Uh, and, and try and rise to that occasion. Quick turnaround. Is everybody all right, both in terms of an, an actual injury and, and fatigue? Well, there's a couple that we'll look at today uh, from an injury point of view, uh, and there's a couple that we'll look at from from a freshness point of view and a fatigue point of view. It is a, a unique part of the, of the year, we understand that, um, and especially at, at the Premier League level, where we're playing Saturday to Saturday. But we'll look at it, and if we have to, um, an opportunity for, for some players to come in uh, and what better place to go and, and prove yourself than uh, than against Manchester City uh, at the Etihad uh, Just finally following on from talks of transfers has anything shifted at all with with regard to contract negotiations has, has there been any progress there? No I mean I, you know as I said this is this is a reward for, for, for two or three of them in terms of you know what they've done, and you know there is a there's a core group that we we want to keep together. But that's going from club to agent now. I, I try and stay out of it, um, and 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 the players, even though um, I'm sure they should uh, and do uh, take an interest in their in their careers. Um, and uh, you know it, it's sometimes a little bit annoying that that in the past some of them don't because it is their career. So you know agents work with. Um, and there is part of um, part of the uh, the sort of connection and the the association that the player should have quite a big say as well. Mm. Uh, and I've always been been a big believer in that. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen. Is it about money? Come on, is it about them? Maybe saying <coughs> that we want more than. I think know. they'll always try and get the the agents always trying to get the best deal. Mm. There's no one hundred percent any of the players. Uh, I, I would have that feeling uh, and don't that they don't see their future at Sheffield United but as always um, in this day and age they know what other players are getting in Premier League uh, salaries um, and unfortunately we're not in a situation where we, can, we can't compete with, 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 with any of the clubs above us but uh, I'm, I'm sure this, this part of it is um, is that they will they'll, they'll want to stay they'll they'll, they'll want to stay but as always the uh, the agent will try and get the best deal for them um, and I'm okay with that um, as long as it's it's realistic and uh, and in line with with where we're at as a football club um, and I'm sure hopefully in time there might be a bit of realism shown and. Uh, the boys will, will, will sign and we can move on pretty quickly. Uh, just finally, we're also in the realms as well of, of the out-of-contract player and the, the star name in that is is Billy Sharp. What what are the thoughts for him and, and with him? Because obviously he's played his part this year. 
and not as much, I suppose, as he would like. What, what, what's the thoughts about offering him a new deal? Well, Billy's obviously what what he's done for the, 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 the Sheffield United has been absolutely amazing, outstanding. He's been a fantastic skipper. Uh, there has been inquiries from from teams, as always, when you see players of the likes of Billy not playing regular football um, and uh, and other players. But I've always been open with Billy and just said, as long as I'm here, um, you know, you, you, it's your decision whenever you want to to say, well, I might have to look elsewhere for first team football um, and, and regular first team football. But he's happy at the moment. Um, if he comes to me and says, listen, it might be time for me to to consider, then um, then we'll consider and see what's what's available and do the best for Billy Sharp. But at the moment, he's part of our group. Um, it's obviously difficult at the moment to, to, to force a way past Mousset and McGoldrick the way he's, he's played and McBurney. Yeah. I've got Callum Robinson, obviously a younger player, one for the future as well, who's who's improving, even though not getting a lot of game time. Um, he's improving by the day um, from a Monday to Friday and knocking on the door as well. So we've got some good players at the club and uh, that's good for us as competition. Um and, uh, and Billy understands that he's an experienced player, but as far as I'm concerned, he's he's not not Tom Medor and he wants to be a part of this 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 sort of incredible journey that we've had, and, and hopefully, you know, um, it, this, there's a little bit more in it come the second part of the season. Marvellous, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Morning. Uh, when you were a young manager and making your way at Oxford and uh, Pep was creating that great Barcelona team, I just wondered how much you looked on and were, were inspired by the way he went about his business, his intensity and attention to detail. Well, it just, it just changed, changed the sort of game, really. And there's not many, not many um, managers who, who've done that in the history of the game of football, is there really? But I think that uh, you know, it was such a, such a fantastic team that he was... I mean, listen, they had great players and they bought great players and it's... It's it's a huge you know what is it in the top top three top five of 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 world world football clubs I should imagine most successful football clubs so uh, they had the facilities you had the inf infrastructure you had the history but you've still got to change the way the way uh, the structure and the the way that they played and went about it not just in possession as well out of possession I was watching a an interview between Wayne Rooney and, and, and Gary Neville and um, I think he talked about one, you know, one of the um, Champions League finals and they just didn't allow, you know, out of possession as well, the way they pressed, they just didn't allow anybody to get their head up. Uh, and then obviously when they had the ball, if anybody pressed them, they played round them, if anybody sat off them, they just had answers to, to any, any, any sort of uh, uh, hurdles or obstacles that were put in front of them. And, and obviously... As a, as a young manager, um, watching watching that, can you know, you have to play with what you've got um, and, and players at your disposal, and and obviously, the manager at the time did it for them, and and obviously different managers did it for for, for other clubs. So it's difficult to sort of replicate that, and I think many people have tried, but there's certain parts of it which are which obviously changed changed the sort of outlook for the uh, for the game, and, and obviously for the better. Did you ever imagine, as a, as a as a young manager, that you one day you'd be pissing your wits against him as an equal? Uh, I'm still not thinking I'm an equal um, uh, in terms of uh, his career and what, what what I've done. But you know, for our team and our football club to go to Manchester City in the last game of a of a, 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 an incredible season is is um, uh, you know reward for a lot of downtime, um, a reward for 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 a great year and uh, and a great three years that has happened at, at this football club and uh, and we all want that to continue and we all want this as I said before the Liverpool game to be a regular Premier League fixture and for us to do that I'm not sure Man City will get relegated in the next couple of years by the way so uh, for us to us to do that we have to keep moving forward and keep improving and and uh, and keep proving ourselves that we're that we're worthy of playing in this division and, and we're worthy of of fulfilling this fixture against Manchester City. Cheers. Cheers.